Welcome to our final day uh, of our week of prayer and fasting. It is Saturday, February 4th. I hope that you've had a really good experience during this week of the sufficiency of Christ uh, and hearing Him throughout the week. Um, I'm really excited to hear some of your stories. But we do have one last day, and our theme today is search. Uh, And as most of you would know, uh, and if you're new, uh, welcome here, Um, But we are in the current process of looking for a lead pastor. And uh, it's really exciting, and it can also feel daunting. And so I just have a scripture for us that I just want to root us in, and then we'll kind of go through the prayer prayer points after that. The scripture for today is John 14, verses 25 to 27. These things I have spoken to you while I am still with you. But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, He will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. And this is Jesus' some of his final words to his disciples, to the twelve. And it's a beautiful picture because he says, I'm going to be going, but the Holy Spirit will be able to lead and guide you. And I think throughout this process as staff and from what I've heard from elders and some of you in our church, this is a desire for our church to be led by the Holy Spirit, to be led by truth and by peace, not by fear, not by being troubled. And so would that be our focus in this season as we continue to search for a new lead, that it would be about uh, being led by God's Spirit and not by our fears. And so for the first prayer point, you can be praying for our elder board as they, uh, you know, begin to put together a search profile uh, and are finishing the visioning process for our church. Uh, This is really important. Um, You know, they've done a lot of really good groundwork to set us up well to see and and get the right um, person for this lead position. Uh, Our second point, you can be praying for our future search committee, uh, which will be made up of a I don't even know, a variety of people in our church. But you can be praying for them, that they would really be intentional to be uh, giving this process to the Lord, uh, to be seeking Jesus in it, to be listening to him and what he's saying about the different applicants that come our way. The third point, you can be praying for our future pastor and for his family. Um, just be praying that you know God would be stirring in his heart um, that he, that God would be uh, preparing him um, for our church, uh, that he would just feel really f- confident and full of life coming into this new season. And lastly, pray for us as a church, um, that we would continue to move forward with the mission God has placed on our hearts. Again, that we wouldn't be uh, swamped with fear or trouble, uh, that we would continue to be led by the Spirit, even in the interim. Uh, Church doesn't stop because we don't have a lead. Um, It means we keep going, and it's actually a a greater invitation for each of us to lean in and listen to God's Spirit. Um, So as you take a couple moments after this video to pray, again, let me just read this scripture to hopefully help you uh, feel rooted. So John 14, verses 25 to 27. These things I have spoken to you while I am still with you. But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. May you go in peace and encounter the Holy Spirit as you pray after this video.